Isaac Hayes is the third. Yeah. Businessman. Yeah. Oh. Tech guru. <laughs> what is fan base? You got the big old fan base on your chest chest yeah. right now. Yeah. What is fan base? Educate our audience. So fan base is an idea that I came up with in early 2018, but it took a while to get there. So a couple things. I saw this kid dancing on Instagram who went viral. Um, he was dancing in a Spider-Man costume in a GameStop to AHA take on me and went viral. He just his name, he goes by the name of Ghetto Spider. He happened to be from Memphis, Tennessee. Anytime I see somebody from Memphis do something big, I just give him a shout out. I was born in Memphis and and you know and lived there as a kid. And so I just reached out to him and said, Hey, congratulations, young Memphis. And he just reached back immediately and was like, Hey, are you a manager? And I go, well, 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 how can I help you? He goes, I really need a manager, right? I'm like, you know, he was just saying, when can I meet you? And I was like, sure, when you want to talk, he's like, I can come to Atlanta, I can call you. And I was like, wow, well, I said, give me your number and we'll set up a time to talk. And I left that conversation with him, understanding that he was like a deer in the headlights that did not know how to capitalize on this moment because he didn't own the Spider-Man costume. He, don't, he doesn't own AHA Take On Me but he's a phenomenal dancer. That's one of the things I was like, doesn't matter what he was dancing to, but he could really dance. And I said, man, there needs to be a way for people to monetize their content and their talent and whatever they want. You know what I'm saying? I said, we need, it needs to be something like, like a Netflix and an Instagram or something like that. And that was the birth of fan base in 2018. First thing I did is trademark it with the, you know, with the, with the trademark office as far as apps are concerned. And then as a songwriter myself, I had you know, a very good career licensing my music in TV and film, reality shows, you know, Love and Hip Hop, Married to Medicine, uh, any kind of, all, anything you can think of, Real Housewives. So I was able to advance myself um, some revenue initially to actually found fan base. And so I founded the company, built it, had a phenomenal development team come on board and build it. And so by the beginning of 2019, we had launched the app. It took me about six months to build it. And we launched Fanbase and I didn't touch it. And the reason I didn't touch it is because I wanted, um, I wanted Fanbase to, to have users without my influence. Cause I'm, I'm, a, I've been a very vocal person. I didn't want nobody to be like, Oh, the only reason people signed up is because you as a case of third, you told them to sign up. I needed proof of concept. When you raise money in venture capital, you kind of have to have uncorrupted data. So, I, I had a proof of concept. People were using the platform and we were gearing up to actually do a convertible note. I incorporated in Delaware and then COVID hit out of nowhere. And so it froze everybody. Um, and then George Floyd happened. And those two things, as, as terrible as they were, really nudged the trajectory of where fan base would go. A couple of things with George Floyd and Black Lives Matter, it made black founders and black people popular. And, and people wanted to do business and learn more about black culture and how we can help the black community with uh, economic equality. And then with COVID, we just couldn't move. You know, we couldn't travel. We couldn't go all these different places. So we were kind of stuck in the house. So um, a phenomenal woman by the name of Monique Idolette suggested that um, I, I apply to this company called Start Engine, that you're able to crowdfund your money and give shares and take advantage of this this regulation signed into law by Barack Obama and Joe Biden called the Jobs Act. And so for people that don't understand that, and this story is important to fan base's story, um, from 1933 to 2012, it's a, it has been illegal for any of us to invest in a early stage private company, right? Without being an accredited investor. So that means you have to have a net worth in excess of a million dollars minus your primary residence or make over $200,000 for two consecutive years. So you got to think from 1933 coming out of the Great Depression, right? It didn't matter if you're black, white or whatever. It's just a bit about the rich being able to get richer and, and capitalize on that situation. And so the Jobs Act lowered those regulations that anybody can invest in an early stage company, regardless of their net worth or annual income. So companies like Start Engine were able to form and allow people like me to raise capital for my company. So if you ever wonder why you never got a call to invest in the last 83 years in a Delta Airlines 
or um, a Walmart or Uber or Instagram is because it was quote unquote illegal, right? And I know we say quote unquote illegal, but regardless of that, the reason that I think that that's BS is because you don't have to be accredited to buy lottery tickets and spend $5,000. You don't have to be accredited to gamble away your life savings, you know what I'm saying, in Vegas. So it was just an opportunity for rich people to get richer. And I like the fact that companies like Start Engine and WeFunder are disruptive in that space. So I launched my raise. Uh, I, I, I applied to Start Engine, got accepted. And then even in, in that process, the development team that I had contracted to work with me, um, the, the, the owner of that company, I hired him as the CTO of Fanbase and wanted him to be a part because they built phenomenal product. And they actually invested in Fanbase. They've been in business for 12 years. This is the first company they ever decided to put their own money into. And they put their own money into Fanbase too um, and became part of the company. We launched our Start Engine campaign October 29th. The goal was to raise a million dollars. In three weeks, we raised a million dollars and more. Congrats. Right after that, um, the SEC upped the regulation that I could raise up to $5 million in a Reg CF rather than one. And I said, I'm going to go to $3.5 million dollars but it didn't kick in until about March 15th. So as March 15th, we reopened the raise and now we're at $2.7 million, really on the way to 3.5 and that funded the company. So Fanbase, to explain that part, is a social media platform that allows any user to monetize their content via subscription or virtual currency we call love, right? So that means you can have followers and subscribers on the same page. You can like content and love it. When you love it, you're giving the content creator half a penny and those pennies add up fast. So it's a business model that I think is amazing for two reasons. Number one, you're allowing anyone to monetize their content. I don't, find, I don't think you're a content creator, right? This show is creating content. I'm a content creator. If someone's sitting out at a baseball game and takes a really cool video of someone catching a fly ball, they're creating content. And so all of us should be able to monetize our content in that way if someone wants to. And that's the thing, it's not forced. So um, we created several verticals and tools for people to monetize their content. So we have photo, video, long form, live, stories and audio rooms like Clubhouse, all monetized for people to, uh, to make money off their content. And so it's, it's doing and growing very, very well. I just got an email right before we went on, which is why I was a little late and my jaw dropped. We're, we're featured on the Apple App Store. I don't know how that's going to affect things, but it's great, um, you know, and that's that's amazing because Apple, you know, took the app into consideration, and um, and I can't believe that we're, we're you know we're part of the App Store right now too. So we're really excited. So. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.